What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and uh, explain the main differences between Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and which program you should be using on a daily basis. So let me go ahead and begin with the video. Uh, you know, Adobe Photoshop is a great program, you know, for modifying uh, images and graphics and photos. And, you know, Adobe Photoshop is very popular program, you know, among everybody, you know, among uh, students, teachers, and just every home users. So, uh, raster or bitmap graphics are created in Photoshop. Uh, these graphics can sometimes look a little jagged since raster images are made up of individual colored squares. And they're also known as pixels. Everything in Photoshop is just a series of pixels. So if you're scaling something up or down, it could lose its quality very quickly. Uh, Photoshop is a popular choice for, you know, for web graphics, photo editing, and designs, since those projects will stay at a fixed size. Editing photos is awesome in Photoshop because it includes a lot of unique filters, special effects, and tools. Another great benefit of Photoshop is that you can have complete control of your projects since you can edit your graphic pixel by pixel. Let's go over Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is an advanced vector-based software, so this is not a pixel-based like Adobe Photoshop. So unlike Photoshop's pixel-based format, it uses mathematical constructions to create vector graphics. Uh, in Illustrator, a line is composed of two dots connected algorithm instead of just a line of pixels. So because of this, Illustrator is used often to create logos or anything that may be uh, that needs to be printed or displayed at different uh, sizes. So this comes in handy when you want to say you're creating a, a logo or a graphic in Illustrator and you want to print uh, or apply that graphic or logo. You could apply it to a huge poster that goes on the sides of buildings or whatever. It's actually, you know, vector based so you could scale it however you want and not lose its quality. Illustrator will also give you a better point, uh, a better print output since it's not, you know, resolution dependent. Uh, a drawback of Illustrator is that it can't be used easily to modify images that are already created since there are limited factors and image editing tools available to you. Illustrator is made more for vector based graphics and Photoshop is more pixel based graphics. So when you say you go over on the internet and you want to go ahead and you know how you click on an image so you search up an image all right and then you click on it and if you zoom in all the way you're gonna see little pixels or little squares right little squares those are actually pixels that you see in Illustrator it's not like that you can zoom in you could scale it all the way up to 100% even a thousand percent you won't be able to see pixels because it's a vector based program and everything's gonna be sharp and clear the main uh, usage between people is Adobe Illustrator is used by designers and Photoshop is used by mainly artists, okay? So like I said earlier, if you zoom in, uh, you know, 900% or 1000%, everything will be sharp and clear in Adobe Illustrator, whereas if you zoom in very close, say 500% or 300% in Photoshop, it's gonna be very blurry and messy. A good thing about Illustrator is that it allows you to create multiple artboards, so you could have so many, you know, artboards. If you guys don't know what artboards are, is they're just the workspace that you're working in, and that gives you more uh, space to work with in Adobe Illustrator than you do with Photoshop, because in Photoshop, you could only use a single canvas, and you could just work within that little canvas. If you wanna use multiple, um, like artboards or canvases, you have to create a new document. Whereas Illustrator, you don't have to do that. In Illustrator, for the clipping mask, you guys keep a mask above the object. Whereas Photoshop, you make the mask below the object. So, you know, when you create a new layer in Illustrator, it's going to place it above the object. Whereas in Photoshop, it creates it below as you have maybe already noticed that if you've been working with Photoshop. Now the selection is a little bit different between these two. Uh, in Adobe Illustrator, the object is the selection and in Photoshop, the it will be an area selection. Now layers, you know, this is gonna be a big difference uh, between these two programs is that in Adobe Illustrator, the layers contain multiple objects. So, uh, you know, you could have so many uh, objects and graphics that it contains a lot of layers and every time you do something it will create it uh, illustrator like everything you do will create it on its own layer whereas photoshop the layers will contain a single object so you could stay in the layer and still add a lot of stuff if you want to undo something the Control z shortcut will undo it illustrator clearly wins with the undo option because you could just press uh, Control z on a windows computer pc 
or Command Z on a Mac if you're using a Mac. These two programs have different um, ways of using the shortcuts. So like in Illustrator, if you hold Control Z or Command Z, you will go back. Um, you could go back many times. Where in Photoshop, if you just do Control Z or Command Z to go back, you only go back one time. So that's a one step backwards. Whereas Illustrator is a multiple steps that you could go back. Now the work area in Illustrator, uh, you could work outside of the workplace, which is really, really good. Um, so say you have something on your artboard in Illustrator, you could actually just take it out of the canvas. You know that little square you see where you're working, the workspace? You could actually take stuff out of it and only work within that little area that you want to. But in Photoshop, you can't do that because Everything is gonna, you know, you have to work within the workspace, so you can't drag any objects or graphics or logos that you're doing outside of that area, which is kind of a letdown, but, you know, Illustrator wins in this category. Now, the saving time between, um, you know, exporting and saving your document, Illustrator is gonna be much faster because, because it doesn't have to register all those little pixels. In Photoshop, it's slower because it does have to register, uh, save all of the little pixels and process the pixels and that's why it takes slower in Photoshop you know it's it, everyone has their own opinion between these two so in conclusion you're gonna come and find that some people just prefer to use this software over another but sometimes it's best to use Photoshop and Illustrator together so if you have the two programs you guys are you're gonna work much quicker and faster it's gonna be great so let's say for an example, you may need to add some text to an image and you need to edit. Maybe you need to add a watermark to a photo for your blog or over an image for your portfolio. It's best not to add any text to an image in Photoshop since it, since it can distort it. So, so transferring the edited photo to Illustrator and then adding the texture there will give you the best result. One is definitely not better than the other, they're just different. Understanding the basic differences between Photoshop and Illustrator will help you make that decision about which software is best for you. So if this video helped you in any way between you know explaining the main differences between Photoshop and Illustrator, please leave a comment below and a rating, that will be much appreciated. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, stay classy.